pretty. Got a transmission service on a 2017 Honda Accord V6. Bing bang. Pull the dipstick. Lift her up. Ready. metal. It ain't bad. I'm not worried about it. Someone should be worried about it, but I'm not worried about it. Get this washer off. One time use. Just like that. And they might have brought me a washer. It would make sense since I am in fact. Look at that. They did. Beautiful. So the V6, 2017 Honda Accord V6 does still use automatic transmission fluid. It is not a CVT. If you get a four cylinder, you get a CVT. Oh, and that's nice. My trainee did an oil change on this and uh, I'm not particularly proud of how that looks. Huh. Doesn't take much. Come on, man. That's minus two points to Gryffindor. Fuck's sakes. Now once the fluid starts trickling, it's about the thickness of maybe a number two pencil lead. That's good, it's more than good. This transmission takes more than double what actually comes out of it. So I'm gonna be putting about three and a half quarts in it, but the whole tranny probably takes seven, seven and a half quarts total. So you're truly just wasting your time if you're letting it drain any longer than this. The more you know. I'll have to show this video to my trainee. Cause he did not clean up. All right, mint, gorgeous mint. Down you go. Alrighty. This one we can go ahead and fill from the dipstick hole. Totally fine. Funnel buddy. You got this in the hole. 3.3. We are just going to firmly place it. Yeah. And firmly place. You son of a bitch. Spec is 3.3 quarts. I'd like to do a tidbit over. Let's do uh, 3.4, shall we? Oh, that's good.
retrieve funnel. Nice and quick. In you go, bud. Alrighty. So, in order to check this fluid, basically need to get the car to operating temperature and then shift through the gears, turn the vehicle off, and then pull the dipstick in about a minute and see if the fluid level's good. So, we go warm her up, stand by. All right, and the car is just about to operating temperature, so we can go ahead and start shifting through the gears. Go into reverse, give it a few seconds to actually engage to get into each gear. So reverse, nooch, drive, and sport. Back to drive, neutral, reverse, and park. Turn off the vehicle. All right. In about a minute, go ahead and pull the dipstick, clean her off real nice, like reinstall, and just quickly pull it back out. You can see that fluid levels just over the bottom hot mark there. A lot of times, especially with Hondas, you'll see this one side looks way high, one side looks low. Definitely look at the low side. The way the tube's set up, it can kind of get one side wetter than um, it should be. So do it one more time. You can see right at that bottom hot mark. And again, the back side looks like it's all the way up here, but you can kind of see there is actually a line of dryness right there. So, so we are good. It's beautiful. I love it. It's perfect. Goes back in. And we are done.